Alright, today we're diving into something that I wasn't even sure I wanted to touch again. But screw it. Let's put all the information out there for everybody. Let's talk about AI girls. Specifically, the kind of AI girls who look like they came straight out of a dream. Or a video game mod, depending on your taste. You've probably seen models like Aitana Lopez. She's got the looks, the vibe, the lifestyle, everything. And plot twist, she's not real. But does anybody care? No. In fact, people are loving it. Like, really loving it. So I thought, why not me? Or more accurately, why not my model? I got to work. I built a virtual goddess. Face, features, personality, the old package. I was hyped. My plan? Launch her only fans and let the money roll in. But just when I thought I was about to go full digital mogul, boom, reality check. Turns out OnlyFans requires human verification. Real name, real ID, real face. And that's where my dreams hit a wall. Hard. That left me asking, why was I trying to get on OnlyFans in the first place? Simple. The money. People are making absolutely insane amounts. We're talking Belle Delphine level money, over a million dollars per month, just from subscriptions and content. I mean, who wouldn't want a piece of that? So I went hunting, looking for the next best thing. That's when I found a platform called FanView. And this is where things changed for real. Now, even though this video is also sponsored by FanView, I would have said the exact same things I just said, because without them, this all AI model monetization journey would have probably died in the only fans won't verify me graveyard. FanView is a platform built for creators, but here's what makes them stand out. They actually support AI generated models. Yes, you heard that right. While other platforms are still stuck in 2018, FanView is embracing the future. Whether you're a fitness coach, fashion model, or you're creating entirely virtual personas like I did, FanView gives you the tools to turn your creativity into cold hard cash. It's got a super clean interface, it's easy to use even if you're new to content creation, and the community is generally supportive. There's no weird friction around using AI, they know what's up. In fact, they have created a dedicated verification path for AI-based creators. So you don't need to worry about jumping through the same hoops as a traditional platform. What I love most is the transparency, clear payout systems, detailed analytics, and the ability to build your brand, your way. You can customize your page, add subscription tiers, sell individual content, and even accept custom requests from fans. It's basically everything you need to launch and scale an AI-based brand. If you're even remotely interested in making money from AI models, so click the link in the description below and check out FanView for yourself. Whether you're a beginner or already deep in the content game, this platform is the real deal. So now that we've got the where, let's talk about the how. Here's the five step formula I use to create, launch and monetize my AI model and how you can do the same. Step one, create your own AI model look. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. This part takes some trial and error. Most AI tools that generate great looking images, they're either expensive, super restricted or both. Some give you a free trial with barely enough credits to make a wallpaper. And that's why I took a detour to the wild west of the internet, GitHub. After sifting through dozens of tools, I found one that totally blew my mind. High res images, flexible prompts and zero restrictions. It's called Fucus and it's a beast, but also completely free. It works with Google Collab and lets you generate stunning dynamic images. Want your model in a sundress on the beach? Done. In a high rise office? Easy. In a dragon costume jiggling donuts? Don't ask why, just no, you can. Step two, add personality and consistency. One-off photos are fun, but if you want real fans, you need consistency. Your model has to feel like a real person, a digital character with a personality, routine, and a story. That is what keep uh, people coming back. Using Focus, you can upload a reference image of your mole's face and generate a new version of her doing all sorts of things drinking coffee working out gaming whatever your niche is and you can keep the same look across every image that is what we call branding let me show you exactly how it works open your browser and type in nasworks 
The first result should be a link to the GitHub profile of the developer. Click on it and once you're on the profile, look for the tab label repositories and click on it. Now scroll down a little bit until you see a repo called Fucus. That's uh, the one we're after. Once you're inside, look for a button or a link that says open in Google Collab. After it opens in Google Lab, you'll see a code notebook with multiple code blocks. Don't worry about them. You don't need to understand any of this. Just find the little play button on the top left of the first cell and click it. It might take a few minutes to initialize everything depending on your internet connection and Google servers. So just chill for a moment. And once it's all done loading, you'll see a Gradio Live link appear near the bottom. Click on that link and it'll open up a new tab with a clean, easy to use interface. This is your AI image generation playground, basically. Now, once you're inside the tool, turn on the tree toggle switches you see on the screen. These are important. They'll activate the extra features that make your results even better. Then type in your first prompt. You can keep it simple like beautiful young woman, ultra detailed, cinematic portrait and hit generate and boom, within seconds, you see your AI generated model pop up on the screen. If you're lucky, you might get a stunning result on the first try. If not, tweak your prompt and try again. That's the fun part. Basically, once you find a face you love, save it. And this can totally be the base identity of your model. She's going to be your digital muse, but we're not stopping there. Let's level it up. What if you want her doing different things, for example? Drinking coffee, walking with a dog, taking a mirror selfie or dancing in a club. Whatever is your niche, basically. Now you're probably thinking I could use Mid Journey or Leonardo AI. But those, uh, at the end of the day, are really expensive and uh, uh, they cannot really give you uh, a consistent character at this level. Plus, they're usually pretty restricted when it comes to this type of content. But with Fucus, you're working with a supercharged, free as in free forever tool, and it's also completely uncensored. It's fast, it's powerful, and it's built for creative freedom. You can even generate wild scenarios like a digital Beyonce on Mars, or a unicorn chef flipping pancakes, if you really want to go crazy. So, here's how to create consistent theme images using your mole's face. Head back to the Gradio interface, click on the section labeled image prompt or face reference depending on the version. Drag and drop the saved image of your mole, the one you liked earlier, into the upload box. Now type in your new scene prompt, for example, young woman drinking coffee at a beach cafe, then hit generate again. The result, your model doing that exact thing. Same face, different context. That's the magic right here. You can now build an entire content library of your model in different outfits, environments, and moods. Totally customized and totally free. And now that you've mastered how to create high quality, consistent premium images for zero dollars let's get into how to actually make money from it step three get up your page on fanview with your content ready it's time to go live basically click on the link that i left in the description that is going to bring you directly to fanview and click on become a creator and sign up it's very quick choose ai generated as your model type select content category and give your model a catchy name like Isabella, for example, write a simple bio and set your subscription price. Pro tip, start at like around $5 a month. You can always scale up once you've built a base. Keep it accessible in the beginning so you can hook new fans. Also, don't skip the customization options. FanView lets you design your profile to match your brand's vibe, colors, banners, and links. Now, for the step four, we're gonna talk about the consistent uploads and your fan base. This is where the grind starts. Consistency here is key. Plan out your post and use Focus to create theme content, holiday special, workout series, behind the scenes style, everything. Give your mole a story. Maybe she's training for a marathon or backpacking through Europe. I don't know. Create engagement with polls, Q&As, and special unlockables for top tiers fans. And don't forget to promote your fan view page, whether you're on Instagram, Reddit, TikTok, or Twitter. Share teasers and link back. Build a following outside the platform to drive traffic to it. And now for step five, I would say scale up and diversify. Now that you've got traction, there's room to grow. 
offer content bundles, drop exclusive merch, or even create shorts using animation tools. Some creators are even using text to video tech to bring their moles to life with motion and voice. So yeah, that's basically my journey from wait, people actually like this to building an AI mole that earns money while I sleep. If you made it this far, thanks for hanging out. I hope this video helped you understand how to take your own virtual creation and turn it into a full on business. If you enjoyed this or learned something new, go ahead and smash that like button. It's free, but somehow it still makes my day. Subscribe for more videos like this and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next upload. Catch you in the next one.